Cancer patients often need to go to the hospital because of the side effects of the treatment. Now a new clinical trial in Boston is testing whether patients can receive supportive care from home. Dr. Malika Marshall has more. Maya Newman has stage four nasal pharyngeal cancer. The 47 year old receives chemotherapy and radiation. All of a sudden the, it hits the fan and you feel awful. Managing the side effects of cancer treatments can sometimes mean a trip to the emergency room or even a hospital stay. But Maya's getting her supportive care in her own home through a clinical trial from Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center and the group Medically Home. We can have somebody join us on the video of their primary oncology team if they want to see the patient while I'm there. We work closely together to keep that patient on track with their treatment and they're improving their quality of life through the symptom management. The program involves active monitoring of symptoms. Patients input their vitals and symptoms into an iPad daily. As soon as my heart rate goes high, it's like you get a phone call. Dr. Arij El Jawari is with the MGH Cancer Center. The idea of being able to capture warning signs diagnose a problem, address it at home before it becomes a bigger problem that requires a patient to be hospitalized. And it definitely gives me some relief to know that people are watching out for me. The clinical trial began before the pandemic, but patients say avoiding the hospital now when they can is a big plus. It's really enabled me to continue working. It's been able to continue having me around the family and it definitely, you know, I feel much safer being here. So there's a lot of just reducing risk and, um, and it's been really good. Maya is also able to receive some chemotherapy at home, making this tough time a little easier. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston. It is estimated that more than 18% of the cancer patients need hospitalization or immediate treatment within a month of receiving chemo because of side effects.